I'm Miles and this is the Make with Miles channel. Today we're going to be making this into this. Let's go. First, I headed to the art store to pick up some supplies. Next, I went to my local copy center where I printed out some transparencies of my logo. One transparency by itself was too transparent. So I cut off the excess plastic and taped the two together so no light would shine through. I used a light box to help line up the two. This helped a lot. I used the Diazo system made by Speedball, which contains the light sensitive emulsion needed to coat the screens. It involved pouring some water into a tiny bottle which contained powdered sensitizer. Once that was mixed thoroughly, I poured it into the photo emulsion and mixed everything until it was a solid green color. I then poured it onto the screen and used the squeegee to spread it around, starting on one side and then going to the next. The goal here is to try and get a solid, even coat with as few streaks as possible. However, you have to work rather quickly because the emulsion is light sensitive. I then set that one down and started work on the second one. I stacked the second one on top of the first one and let them dry for about two hours in the dark. I taped my logos on the screen and put a piece of glass on top of it. Next, I turned on a very bright light above it and exposed the screen for about half an hour. When I came back, I pulled the logos off and took the screens to the bathtub to wash off the emulsion that had not been exposed. I quickly made a screen printing press out of 2x4s, aluminum, and some plywood. I made it with a sliding platen so that you can adjust it for different screens and different shirt sizes. I then masked off the edges of the screen so it would be easier to clean off later. The first coat you do pushing forward is the flood coat, which is just meant to spread the ink. The second coat is when you're pulling back and you should be pressing down harder to get the ink through the screen onto your t-shirt. I found it useful to move slowly, especially when pulling the screen up for each t-shirt. I had to do many passes with the squeegee to get a sufficient coat. I think the lesson here is to take your time and be patient. I really liked how these t-shirts turned out. You can do this project with just materials from most art supply and craft stores, or you can even build your own screens using wood and mesh. You certainly don't have to build a press like I did, but since I knew I was doing more than a few shirts, the press made it much easier to line things up perfectly every time. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out some of my others, and consider subscribing to see more of what I'm up to. Have you ever tried screen printing? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Oh, my name is Laura Camp, and my uh, my favorite shirt is uh, is this one. <laughs>